Praise the Lord, dear friend. Thomas Manton IV. I'm on a live broadcast uh, with Paris, France right now. And we wanted to link up and do a uh, simultaneous thing, but we'll have to plan that. So they're in a revival meeting. I've asked me for the prophetic words for France and... Oh, they're in the worship mode. Okay. That's a good place to be in Europe. <laughs> Uh, my friend was telling me they're on the verge of uh, utter chaos in France. You know, like, this whole thing that's going on right now is going to cause a reverberation uh, that's going to break into revival. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm feeling it. It's funny enough that God would use a stupid thing like corona. What a jingle word. Corona. I thought, you know, somebody that these people that are making all this panic noise, they're full of the devil. I, th I said they've drank too many Coronas, you know. Um, found a picture today in Australia. It looked like a kangaroo was trying to steal the toilet roll from the bathroom. I thought, yeah. And they said that's where the toilet roll craze, toilet tissue uh, sweeping up craze began, was in Ausland down under in Australia. They're, but they're great people in Australia. Oh, I love Australia. Had great, great memories from there. Great, great moves of God, miracles of healing. Saw the beautiful sights. Just phenomenal. But um, in honor of my friend who I, I can't seem to get this message across to them so clearly, I want to read a few verses from... And we'll, we'll have to plan a technical event where we can both come on the screen together. So I just... Um, I'm in my African uh, studio right now in my office here. I just... Um, thought I'd say a few words about what's happening in France. The Lord, is, the Lord is saying, hey Mary, hey Danielle, Maddie G, rich woman, both of you, multi-millionaires because you're my friend and you're connected with this anointing. Oh yeah, things are in motion, in motion. You're going to see money moving in your life. Just to use to advance the kingdom for his purpose. You know, so then when you want to be in an event, you want to be with us, you want to be doing things with us in the ministry, you have your own accounts flush with cash. And that's a prophetic word. You know, you can just do what you want to do. You don't have to be stuck. You don't have to preach for a living. You don't have to have a job for a living. You have other money that you can just be mobile and moving. Isn't that better? A little scary of a thought sometimes to some people that have just been stuck in a domestic situation where they're just employed in a certain place at a certain level of money, and that's all they have. But God has much, much, much more for you than that. And I want to say this to all the servants of God in Europe that are suffering, in Africa that are suffering, in America that are suffering. God wants you to have cash money. I didn't plan to say that. He wants you to have a lot of money. John, John Lancer, hey, John. Linda, hello, dear, my partner. Look, you're seeing the blessings over there in Pennsylvania. I still look forward to coming. I really want to play golf on that Lord's Valley course. That'll be a, a monumental thing in my life. I'm coming at some point. We're just going to have to make it happen. Hopefully this year, 2020. Let's do it in 2020. Make it a noble goal sometime. I have to find a way to get in there. It's a private club. But uh, we used to be members years ago when we were there, but um, that's a long time ago. And I want to see the pine trees that I planted. I planted these pine trees at the house. Hey, Lydia, is that you? Are you in Senegal? Bless you. Dennis Rue, hello, my friend. Orlando, Florida. How's it going, mate? It's crazy what's going on in the world right now, isn't it? Well, I guess you got to stay put and dig in where you are. And pray a lot. And I'm finding a lot of people, I'm coming, I'm coming, dear. I'm coming up there. I am coming, 100%. It's not if, it's just when. Not if, but when. That was a good line from a Hollywood movie somewhere. Not a matter of if, just a matter of when. Greets from Orlando. Greets from Nairobi, Kenya. That's where we are here now. So the Lord is uh, uh, saying a lot of things. About, about blessing his own people. In fact, he called this the year of success. And I'll get to this thing in France in just a moment. But Europe is going to be broken open. Now, I was talking about this, this chaos, this supposed uh, 
epidemic pandemic thing, which is not really a pandemic. It's been made a pandemic by the fake media and the liberal media and these powers that be. Someone said that uh, there's a wicked guy that has um, his hands in the WHO, the World Health Organization. And they, man, they have plans of Satan to really want to do things. So we're kind of entering the last days. So get your, make your calling and election sure. ID Noble, are you from Dallas? Hello, my friend. I've seen you on a lot. But we've been crossing paths in the wind on Facebook for many, several years, I think. Palm Springs, California. Hey, Joanne. Blessings on you. That's another place I wanted to come. I have a friend out there, a pastor friend, and I wanted to come to that area. I can't remember the name of the town he's in. I see him Palm Desert Springs. There's a desert or something. Somewhere near there, Palm Springs. Nice place. I like that dry air in the desert. I kind of get excited about it. It's a little bit much for some people, but I like that no humidity in the air. I kind of love that climate. I remember when I was in the mountains of California, and it was just phenomenal. Yeah, Bill Gates does, yeah, but there's another guy. His name is uh, Soros, and he's got some diabolical plans more than Bill Gates. Bill Gates is eccentric, but I know they have some things up there, up there, whatever. But are you in Kenya now, Lydia? Bless you, dear. There you are. So they wanted to make this something to try to undermine Donald Trump, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Peter Batania, hello, my friend. You stopped writing me. You need to write me again. You need to stay connected tight with me, my friend. That's a word from the Lord and a word of good advice. You just stay tight with me. Come when you can, but stay connected by writing me. Stay connected to this anointing because uh, things are about to take off. Now, the Lord said that, and you heard me say this, Peter, you heard me say this. The Lord said that the year 2020 is the year of success. And it's really happening for me. I don't know about you, but it's happening for me. And God has major things planned. And now it's funny that God would choose a funny situation to kind of ground people and really get them stirred up to pray. Now the Lord is, no, you're not there. You're right on. You're right in it. Rukaro. Rukwaro Muthoni. No, you're not late. You you know, the one thing about this is when I finish, you could just hit, wait a minute till it uploads, uploads, it's in the post. And then... uh, Hit replay, you see the whole thing from the beginning. Isn't that great? Anytime you want to do it. We love technology for that. It's the year of success. It's the year of financial things. The year of new breakthroughs. It's coming. And the Lord says, um, think it not strange that you found yourself where offices are closed and people are really getting stirred up about their comforts and all that because God wants us to get... He didn't cause it. Some guy, faith guy, you know, from the old school of thing, think, think was trying to think that maybe I was, uh, um, (laughs) maybe I was saying, did God cause the thing? You've got to be out of your mind if you would suggest that. People are so religiously stuck sometimes, you know. Uh, Of course not. The devil and his ugly friends are behind all this. And, but God's causing this, you know, to stir people up. You know, Isaiah 52, wherever the verse is, verse 9, somewhere like that. Isaiah 52, just find it in Isaiah 52. Awake, 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 thou that slumber and sleepest. O Zion, awake, O Zion, you who are asleep. God wants to wake people up. Yeah, Maureen, it's a year of success for you. Breakthrough. Let me just say emphatically, God wants us to be rich. Just wants us to be rich, flourishing, accounts full of money, credit lines full of things that you can use to buy what you need and do what you need and travel after a minute. No, don't get excited about traveling right now because you don't want to get stuck in the crosswinds of this quarantine thing. So I thought God already spoke to me like I'm on assignment here where I am right now, and I'm happy with that. And I'm doing certain things that are taking a few minutes. And then as soon as those are done, we'll be able to move. 
Randy Hooper, God bless you, my friend. Good to see you. I'm live from Africa. Coming with the word of the Lord about the year of success, the season of success, and about some things for Europe. I have a major prophecy for France. It's quite lengthy. I just want to read a few lines of it in a few moments. And uh, some new things for, for Kenya and also for America. Bless you too, man. Love you so much. And some things for America and also for the body of Christ. Uh, the Lord is speaking now. He wants us to be praying right now. And it's, it's, it looks like it's so bad. People think they're going to die. They're going to catch this disease. No way. You're not catching nothing. No, 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 no. Psalm 91 takes care of us. The scripture said, though 10,000 fall at, I feel the anointing. Right now, right now, there's a sweet, it's like fire coming up from my feet. I have this beautiful carpet here. I can't show you right now because it's below here, but it's like red with dots and it's got the, whole, the white doves in it, well, like the Holy Spirit and the map of outline of Kenya. I'll, I'll take a picture of it and put it on my Facebook after that, after this. I can't shift it right now to show you, but the, uh, and this beautiful furniture. I got this marble top uh, from Egypt. It was hand carved uh, with gold uh, edge, edges on it and uh, Solid wood and beautiful imported marble. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So the Lord is good. You, you, can't, you can't think for a minute that God was the master of evil. He's not. But if he allows something like this for a minute, it's going to backfire on the devil because it's gonna, God's going to raise up people to, to catch fire that they didn't have before. You go through your daily routine I don't know what happened like about a, from about a week ago. The anointing, I'm anointed every day. I'm listening to God every day. He talks to me all the time. I, I hope that doesn't sound uh, too forward of a statement to say, but I'm his prophet. I have been for decades. And I, he called me. I have a special gift in that area, a grace from heaven, a calling from God. But he talks to me. I'm always in that realm of communication. But something from about a week ago or so, this whole last week, uh, there's just been a shift. Some blessings are coming. Major thing. I can't even talk about. Uh, on Sunday, I was, I was preaching and I, I said, I can't tell you some testimonies. I'm smart. I, I'm smart in my young age. I can't tell you some things because jealousy, devils, people. And then, then you're in an impoverished kind of society and people hear that you have something. They want to think how they could try to, you know. And it's just some things I can't say. Even some people that are around you and next to you, they get jealous. They'll get jealous just to know what you have. So a wise person will just be quiet about it. Take it. Be a multimillionaire. You're looking at one. To be that. It's all right. And don't tell everyone about your stuff. Your, your stuff. Remember that from uh, what is that, Scarface? Hey, where's your stuff? <laughs> Tony, Mont hey, hey, Tony Montana, you mess with me, you're messing with the best. The world is mine. Tony Montana. Same initials as mine, TM, right? And he has that logo TM on the back of his leather chair, like this kind of black leather chair. TM. I have a logo like that. So, oh, uh, yeah. Well, then, John, just take a chill on it for a minute. It's all right. Take a chill on it. Sometimes, uh, you know, when places empty out, it's a good time to go because you have all the space to yourself. But the, there is something happening now where things are actually getting closed which is crazy. But in this season, God as a sign and a wonder can make you prosper more than ever before because he's with you. It's the time for him to give you things. Can you receive that? I, I'm receiving it. And the Lord can just do that. And it's not you know, dictated to by the world system or what's going on in the world. Yeah, dear. Jambi, that's right, dear. Paris, Joy. That's right. I like your name. Paris Joy Jami. That's a, you can make a song to that. Some, da, 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 da. On your name. Be careful. Be careful. You have no obligation to be a show-off. Yep, we're head of the world system. That's right, Dennis. And Peter, that's right. You're receiving it, my, my good friend. Partner. Member, man of God. And you remember to do your part and stay connected, Peter. It's important. I just feel from the Lord to tell you that. Some of these other churches, they ain't got nothing what I got. 
We were talking about it today. I was with a top government person. I can't say details of who or where or what, you know. Again, top secret stuff. Uh, very, very high level operative. Very, very powerful, dangerous people. And uh, we were having a conversation. We were talk talking about some of the churches here. You know how they just got Ichabod. Basically, he's not there. And somebody else was telling him something. And I confirmed something. They had my whole story about what I had with those people. And these are big, big organizations that seem to be like okay, but they're not okay because God's presence is not there. And it's like the battle of the ages to get, you know, people to be able to connect, especially with a foreigner who doesn't speak quite like the people here, doesn't do the songs like the people here, and doesn't do all that, you know, just bringing it raw truth and great teaching, you know, brilliant eloquence and excellence and all that, but it's just like there's a warfare on the local front for the connection factor because of people's styles and rituals and cultures. I, I was preaching, and I had this one group of pastors, I was pastor and some people. I, I know they really couldn't handle what I was saying. I said, it's the Christian Culture Club, the CCC, Community Center, another two C's, uh, Compromised, another C. So you can make it the CCCCCCC organization, you know, the Culture Club, the Ritual Center, you know. I don't mean occultic things. I mean just the way people do things. And I'm like, man, if you're not getting blessed in your life, you're in the wrong place. You need to connect with someone who's uh, got the power of God flowing through their life. Call Sansarik, my dearest friend. I'm so thrilled you're here. I hope you could stay on with me a few minutes. And please, let's do talk. Folks, this is a premier person in my life from a young age. We were together in New York City. We were young, young rock and rollers. Him on the guitar, me on the vocals. And uh, dear old friend. We got to pray together before I was dashing out of the country somewhere. I was going somewhere, and we didn't talk since then much. But I pray that your soul is set and ready for heaven. Not that you're going soon. We have a long way to go on the earth, but that you've received Jesus as your Savior, and really, really, he is your Savior and Lord. I want to pray for my Auntie Nina. If she ever stumbles across this, she's always following my Facebook lately, which is kind of out of sorts with my family because we were from, our family was from the Democratic New York Society, you know, and they don't quite all know what to do with Mr. Trump and for whatever reason. So I don't talk to them about that. I don't care, you know. Maybe they'll wake up after a while on that. But I'm totally for the man and uh, believe in, in, in what he's doing. Totally great, grateful for his uh, great stance for the church, for Christianity, for doing so many good things and right things. And if you have half a bit of sense, you can see that he's all right and he's doing well. And his heart is really there. He's doing it because God called him to do it. I mean, I saw this article, the, now this uh news clip with Rona Barrett. She's not even still around. Uh, uh, an interviewer, journalist lady. Not really a journalist, like a news, a news journalist, but a TV show presenter. She had her own show. She lifestyle show, whatever. And she interviewed Donald Trump when he was 34 years old. Now he's 71 or 72. So that was like almost 40 years ago, 30-something years ago. And he was talking about the presidency. And he says, no, I don't think I want to do it, but if I had to, I would, you know, kind of thing. And that was really prophetic 30-something years ago. And I, the Lord showed me he was born to do this. He was born into the earth to do what he did, raise up his business. That was training for reigning. But that wasn't the ultimate purpose of God. He, he was ordained and called by God to be 45, 46, as far as POTUS, President of the United States, P-O-T-U-S. That's what that means. Number 45. And then next election, if it's 46 or 45.2. However you're going <laughs> to point <laughs> next level, next exponential. However you'd say that. And it's just great to see what's happening. But the warfare in the earth right now is crazy. So God had to allow something to stir the church to action. 
And now some of our people are writing me from, uh, some of my members are writing me from the prayer mountain. I didn't know they went because the office was closed. They were told to work from home. They said, I'm going to the mountain to pray. This is awesome. And then uh, another great intercessor sent me a great word today. He says, Prophet, we're praying. I want to see you at your full potential. I said, that's a brilliant thought from the Holy Spirit right there. And another uh, man of God from America, brother, my dear brother Craig, you're going to see this broadcast. I know unless you'll get the link and see this anyway. And he wrote me, he's been real stirred up and some other people in America, different states to get a, a team of intercessors together for me to pray for me that um, God have his way fully. Things just happen. Powers of darkness get broken. Opposition gets broken. Obstacles get broken. Everything begins to flourish and move. And it's just, it's, it's really amazing, I'm telling you, how God can do that. And the Lord said on last Sunday, he said this word as I was teaching. He said, um, you're going to get discovered. There's a discovery going to happen. For me, it's happened for me with new people that I never knew before. Great people in the earth. Great leaders, you know, kings and queens and presidents and people in my field of work, of vocation, like in the ministry world and also in the success realm of teaching all that, that would discover me and say, where, where have you been? You're phenomenal. We need you on our platform. We need you on our stage. And that automatically instantly gives me an entirely new uh, audience and influence on a greater level because when you are connected with an influencer, you gain their influence and you become a, great, a greater influencer. And God can do this when he's ready. And you don't need to be in obscurity. You need to be discovered, man. You need to be woman, man. You need to be out there. You need to be in the limelight. Not that it's like a showy thing. I don't mean it that way. I mean pro being productive to advance the kingdom, to fulfill your purpose. So this is a time right now to really get into a major... Uh, time of prayer and uh, like positioning yourself to, for where you're going. I feel this eruption of a revival. I feel it. I prophesy it. I tell you right now by the Holy Ghost. There's a revival. I mean breakthrough that's coming. My God, I feel the fire of God. I'm burning up here. It's coming to hit people and what you believe God for in the realms of the miraculous and even in the realms of blessings for yourself that you can um, flourish and just do what you want to do and what you need to do for the Lord and for yourself and for your people and your family. And you can buy what you want to buy. You can live where you want to live. You can travel. You can move. You just flush. You can set up your offices. You can just anything you want to get Anything you want to do in media, anything you want to do in, in, in the realms of something that's brilliantly and blatantly productive, the Lord is going to bless people in that realm. That's coming in this season of time right now. I don't, and I don't really care about how, we just care that it happens. One thing you don't want to do is tell God how. You don't want to tell God how to do everything. He can use anybody. I met a man who's extremely influential, who's doing things for me that no one on planet Earth could do. God knew how to find him and connect us together. He knew how to do that. And we're doing things right now that are so productive. Again, they're things that I can't talk about. I, sorry, I can't. Just can't. <laughs> Complete zero info, intel. Can't give it to you. But please know that God is doing something phenomenal with this man right here. And this ministry that's touching the entire world. God is, is, uh, is raising up, amen, amen, Pastor Randy, great man of God, brilliant in the admin realm, administrative realm, and the evangelism realm, and the revival realm, just opening churches and having big crusades in Central America. Blessings to you, my friend, you and your wife. Tell her I said hello. Let her watch this too if she wants to watch. Victory is right around the corner. Oh my, that's a word. It is, it is like around the corner? <laughs> Which corner? How far is the corner? It's like things are going to begin to happen like that. Just like. Pew, pew. 
Apostle Donald Joseph McClintock, Springfield, Missouri. Blessings on you, my dear friend. Good to see you. Rosemary Smith. I'm trying to remember your place. Botswana? I hope I'm right. Yeah. Namibia. Namibia, Botswana. One of the two. I, I'm trying to remember which one. I had a prophetic word for Namibia, and it's, I'm going to re-release that. What country are you in again, Rosemary? Is it Namibia or Botswana? Please refresh my memory. It's one of the two I know. Over there in that Western Africa south side. The Lord is, uh, Bettina, I know you on face, from Facebook. Blessings on you, dear. Grace, God bless you, dear. Good year. Wave and wave. So, uh, God, I feel the anointing so strong. Father, I just released this touch of fire from heaven for revival, for personal revival, for an awakening, for a dusting off, for a shaking up. Like God can throw you in the wa his washing machine, so to speak, and hit the spin cycle. And I'm, just, I'm joking, okay? But it's, I'm seeing it like that. Spin you around. Botswana, I was right. Blessings, dear. Spin you around, bring you out, and air dry a little bit. Say, now, here's a new power from heaven to go and do something in the earth. It's time to wake up, man. Wake, awake, O Zion. Isaiah 52, look that up. Awake, O Zion, thou that slumbers and sleeps. I don't want you to be asleep. And pe when people start getting scared, and you and and you see you see it happen. And every pastor that's anyone come out of the woodwork. People you don't know all over the Facebook. Have you been seeing that the last few days? Everybody's coming out to make an official statement about the corona, not the beer, but the this supposed pandemic nonsense. And uh, we're not saying it's not real, but it's not real for us. How about that? Hey, I just something just popped up on my laptop here. Hope I can show you that. Ah, it disappeared. It said, it said, it said, woo, it's like, woo. it said virus and threat protection. It was a little pop-up box. I think it's from the, uh, the antivirus software. <laughs> Just what I'm talking about. It's a little box that popped up. It went away before I could show it to you. Virus and threat protection. Well, that's what we get from God. That's very prophetic. Thank you, Lord. That's so funny. You're, you're amazing, Lord. Psalm 91 says, you dwell in the presence of the Lord. And nothing bad will come to you. There's a scripture. It won't be able to get to you. It won't be able to penetrate your life. There's a scripture in uh, Genesis 24 something. I don't have that book in front of me right now. I'd have to get up and walk over there to get it. I just don't want to jump off the screen. Let me try to remember. It says, and I was, I was uh, bringing it from different translations and breaking it down point by point. It says, as you're walking with the Lord... Walking with him and before him, he will send his angels, his angel and his angels to your life to cause you to prosper. And I thought, this is amazing. That's what happens when you're walking with God. You begin to prosper. New things begin to come your way. And I prophesy right now for, for our friends in the world, all of you, everywhere you are, that God is going to begin to open up doors I see some in the next few days, uh, and I don't want to do this funny business like, yeah, by this time tomorrow, you know, I could say that. I've been 72 hours and in six months of 30 days. You know. That's fine if you hear it like that, and I am kind of hearing a lot of different days. But let me just say it in one potent statement. In this coming hour and day right now, the next many moments, hours, and some days, the Lord is, is beginning to open up new doors for people. You're going to begin to see things happen so quickly, and you're going to say, where did this favor come from? I'm telling you, it's a tangible visitation from heaven. It's a tangible visitation from Almighty God. He is bringing it forth, and no man could have done it. You know, Psalm 108 says, the help of man is useless. I think... Lois, Jerry, bless you, dear. I see you there. Margaret, Lynette, God bless you, dear. I see you there. Wonderful. Glad you're here. The help of man is useless. Now, I think the psalmist was, having a, was in a bad mood that day. So I say the help of man, I like to say it my way. 
a little bit, not changing anything, but the help of man is many times useless because God can use people. If he doesn't use people, who's he going to use? He's using people to be a blessing to you. So the help of man is useless. No, it's not totally useless, but it can be. Because the Lord was just trying to give... The reason why he allowed it to be made a, a, a scripture there is so that we don't get our trust in man. And let me cross-reference that to Psalm 108, Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17 says, Cursed is the man. I don't like that word very much to you. So let's say this, this favored, unfortunate for the person that trusts too much in man. Not that you don't trust people at all, but you don't trust too much in men. Hey, Sylvie, from Canada to France to Nairobi, Kenya, Africa, here we are. Blessings to you too, dear. Good to see you. I'm glad you popped on here. I was trying to get on the broadcast with Michael and uh, Natalie, and uh, we'll have to do a, a whole thing and put the whole prophecy up there. We'll have to technically arrange that. But uh, I did see they acknowledged my, my one little word there. But I have a very lengthy prophecy for France. It's in print in both French and English. I have it here on the screen on my laptop, and we want to release that to the nation of France, especially now in this time. You know, in France, there's a military guard. They're all over the place. They're, it's like martial law. Things like that are, are going to begin to be established, or put in, I mean, put into place over this thing. We're in a very heavy time right now, and this has never really happened in our life or any of our... Uh, ancestors or relatives lives so it's a very interesting time but we have the victory and I don't know I just want to tell you this that I feel a peace about this thing and I want to prophesy that corona will blow over it, there's more to this than it's being told this is a lot of it's a kind of a a hoaxish not hoax, hoax is not probably the right word it's a hyped up uh, a panic that's been artificially caused by powers that be in different places for a lot of reasons. One, they'd like to undermine Donald Trump and they want to hurt economies and, and this thing with China and this thing with... But God turns it all for good. Look at what's happening now. People are saying, well, we don't want to tr have to depend on China anymore. So new manufacturing is going to raise up. I pray that the Christ I pray and prophesy and declare that Christian people Believers, the kingdom, kingdom people, kingdom advancers will get involved in becoming manufacturers of goods and products and things like that. That we just don't look, we just sit back and wait for China to make something and send it on the ships, on the boats that they've been doing for decades and generations. You know, we need to see people rise up in the business. Now, something I prophesied, I was in the Indian Ocean coast on the coast of Kenya in Malindi, the city called Malindi, uh, which is on the northern side of the coast, the uh, northern coast of, of Kenya, which would be northeastern, uh, all the way on the, on the ocean. And I stood there in front of the old monument there where the people first landed. It's from many hundreds of years ago. The monument is there, and I stood on that hill in front of it and prophesied that God would release a new economy for the land, for the coast, which has been devastated by a downturn of the economy. You see abandoned properties there, abandoned resorts, abandoned hotels, abandoned... It's crazy. And I was there and I saw the beautiful foliage, the trees, the flowers, the animals, and then even camels walking around with me, and beautiful beaches and the scenery and the coconut palms and the weather and the what. Just so exotic and amazing and yet is devastated by an economic downturn. Now, this thing is going to make it even worse because now Easter was coming up, and a lot of people that have any kind of hotel properties, they make the money. They got to take the money that they get in the holiday and make that last the next month, you know. So when they get a good injection, infusion, Christmas month, and then again on uh, Easter, which I call resurrection time. That's really what it is. But that holiday now it doesn't look like it's going to happen because it's going to be in just a, a few weeks. And uh, if people are canceling their trips and travel because of this, it's devastating to those people. But you know what? In the midst of all of this, God is, I'm telling you, supernaturally, God is causing his own people to prosper. So something happened. A news article came back, and it's on my Facebook. You could see, I wish I could have. I want to get to the point where I have this stuff on my uh, yeah, I pray for that, Dennis. Father, in Jesus' name, 
Let that happen. In Jesus' name. For that investment of prosper and make them rich. My friends, in Jesus' name. Amen. So be it. Uh, I want to get it where I can have some interactive stuff on a screen where I can go, let's cut to that and show you that. I want to be able to do that in the studio. We'll, we'll get to that point. I'm going to build that soon and show you this thing where it's like putting like a billion, a billion of money of, to a resort thing that they're going to do on the, on the coast there. I'm shining a little bit here with the lights. Anyway, the, uh, the, the, the fulfillment is amazing what's happening. Now, here's what I prayed when I was there, that Christian people would be involved in these business ventures, not heathens. Not just heathens and other religions and other people all the time. You have the Hindus, and you have the Muslims, and you have this, the other people, and you have these foreigners, and you have what? You don't want to keep seeing, and China, look at China, they're raking in so much money. You don't want to just see pe uh, other, other people prospering all the time. Let me say something here. This corona thing, this thing on China, it's going to cause a lot of people to opt out of China. Let me tell you, the Lord spoke to me, and I haven't heard anybody say this. People have all these different ideas about what it is. Yeah, it's a manufactured thing. It's World Health Organization, control, domination, destruction of population. Yeah, it's, like, it's, all, it's probably all that. I, I have the intel on those things also, and I, I believe that. But the Lord showed me something. So it is like the plagues of Egypt coming back to people that have persecuted Christianity. You know, in China, Christianity is illegal. They beat pastors. They torture them. They kill them. They imprison them for nothing they did wrong except having a Bible or having a church. That is satanic and evil, and the Lord has to break that system. I prophesied years ago, the Lord had me speak this years ago, about the bamboo curtain being ripped down and freedom and liberation to come for the church and all that. It's going to happen. How's it going to happen? So somebody needs to get to the president of China or this communist regime or the red Chinese communist regime governments and let them know to leave Christianity alone. And it's like the Lord is saying again, let my people go. Let my people go. Let them have their freedom. There was a video we saw that the government came and started blowing up churches with explosion, with dynamite, blowing them down, up and destroying them, taking the passes, beating them, throwing them in jail. Is that okay? Is that all right for that to happen for people? Do they deserve that? Hell no. Hell no. Heaven yes. So I believe God's using all of this to shake up the systems that be and create some new order, a new system. I just wanted to say that. The Lord wanted me to do that because I uh, really got stirred up because of this uh, uh, internet connection to France. And I wanted to get more on that broadcast. We're going to have to do some other series of broadcasts for that. But uh, I just thought to turn on, instead of going on their program, which we couldn't really get sorted to come on and do my own. And here we go. And the Lord spoke all this. So um, the outpouring in France, God says, I'm raising up intercessors and warriors of my spirit to pray for my new mighty outpourings in France, says the living God. I will have my remnant network together in new ways in the coming days for my holy purposes, says the Lord. You who have my mark of anointing of my new move in this day and hour, will surely experience, you will surely experience new movements and my leadings into many new relationships. And I am raising intercessors, I'm raising kingdom warriors, I'm just going to skip down here, but to take spiritual aggression against the powers of darkness and begin to cause things to happen. Now, key word in there is this networking thing, divine relationships. I'm writing several books on that about relationships. The power of productive relationships is one. The power of relationships, divine connections, divine relationships, the dream teams, the people. You need to have people connecting. Everything is about people. In this kingdom that we're in, everything is about people. It rests and rises and falls on people. Uh, the whole thing. The government shall be upon his shoulders, which is the body. 
Jesus is the head of the church, but in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, 6 verse 9, whichever it is, is it 9 or 6? Isaiah 9, verse 6. Yeah, the government shall be upon his shoulders, and he's the Prince of Peace, you know, the mighty God, the everlasting Father, you know that. But the government shall rest upon his shoulders. He's the head, but the shoulders is the body. And Psalm 133 says, How good it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. He said, Thou cause my blessing, I'll command my blessing to be there. And it'd be like the oils coming upon the head, down the beard, and down upon the body, upon the garments of the body. And the whole thing begins to flourish with anointing. I was meditating when I got the call to come on live on the, Fran on the broadcast in Paris, France, which is now commenced. It's, they've done it and ended it. I was on there with them right before I came on here to talk to you. And the Lord said to me, tell the people, and I'm telling you this, that you're getting this before Fran France is getting it. Privileged people you are. I'll deliver this to France, but I want to say it to you first because this, this is for everybody in the body of Christ. He, everyone in the body of Christ, the Lord said to me, the key to your breakthrough, the number one thing you need is the power of the Holy Spirit and his wisdom and his favor. Now listen, it's not just to say that in this world we don't deal with natural things. So someone could say, well, that just sounds real spiritual. No, I'm not just saying it from an all-spirit posture because when God touches you and anoints you and makes you brilliant and gives you his wisdom and his favor and his blessing... Now you have finance, you have knowledge, wherewithal, what to do from your head. You're brilliant. And you have his favor to connect you with the right people and to open doors. Are you seeing that? All comes from the touch of the Holy Spirit. So we need to also let what we understand about the touch of God, not just to think it's a spiritual thing where it's just, you know, uh, you know, how we feel and we're singing and worshiping and shaking and dancing and you know all that but uh, or teaching or sharing or, or in church so to speak church stuff instead of th knowing that it, ma it makes you brilliant in business it makes you brilliant in knowing what to do gives you favor gives you honor gives you intelligence that you didn't have because you have the mind of christ are you seeing this gives you money you didn't have before gives you knowledge that you didn't have before because he's the spirit of knowledge, he's the spirit of wisdom, he's the spirit of understanding, he's the spirit of counsel, he's the spirit of might, he's the spirit of the fear of the Lord, according to Isaiah 11, verse 2. So your, 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 you're great when he touches you. It's the only way. Even people in the world that have things going on, yeah, they're full of pride, yeah, they're full of, looking at something here you see here's up here silver and gold see that one looks gold and one looks silver pretty cool one of our logos so even people in the world though they're many of them full of the devil full of pride full of themselves full of all kinds of nonsense but they had what they the brilliance that they they're achieve they're achieving something with with the brilliance that they're achieving something with, that innately came from God. So again, I'll, I'll continue in this more, but uh, let, me, let me jump off here for, for, uh, for this moment right now. Remember this, 2020 is the year of success. This is the year of success. It's the time of success. If you're watching this in 21 or 2021 or 2022 or 2023 or 2024 or 2025 or beyond, no, uh, back to now, l let me tell you something. This is a timeless word. Uh, of course, the corona thing will be long gone. By the way, I'm feeling like this is going to break in the next few several weeks. I don't see how this can be like an absolute lockdown, shutdown pandemic. I'm not to, to, to stop everything in the, flowing in the world. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like there's going to be some kind of thing, divine intervention. We've been praying. God had me curse the virus, command it to die under the anointing a couple of Sundays ago. When this thing just came out and started happening, I, under the anointing, the Lord had me address this thing and curse that virus and to chase it out of the earth. It's not for us. If it's been made, it's going to get unmade. 
If it's operating, it's going to be made to not operate. In Jesus' name, that's how it is. And I don't see this being a long-term thing. Uh, I don't see this being the end of days. Grace Moi, hello, dear. Blessings on you. Welcome. I'm just about to wrap this up, so hit the replay, dear, and watch this again. I've shared some very powerful things. And I don't see this as an end-all problem. I was talking about my Auntie Nina. She's been on my Facebook page enjoying my posts and standing up for what's right and brilliant things that news articles that I've been reposting and things I've been saying. And I pray that you have an encounter with God, dear. And my, also my sister-in-law, Rita, in New York, and my Auntie Nina in Pennsylvania, and my brother John, and my sister Jean, and my sister Kathy, and my uh, all my nephews and nieces, and brothers-in-laws, and sisters-in-laws, and other aunts and uncles that are on in years now. I just, and all of our bloodline lineages, I pray that, I pray that the Lord himself manifests himself to you, sends laborers to you, messengers to you, to talk to you, to help you commit yourself to the Lord and receive this free gift of salvation, that every single one of us in our family will go to heaven and never go to hell, in Jesus' name. Never, none of them. We claim all of their souls for the kingdom of heaven, and you need to do this for your family too. Let's do it right now. And if you're watching by, or you tuned in right now and you don't know, you're not sure that Jesus is your Savior, and especially some of the people I've just mentioned, or anybody else, anybody else, whosoever will, let him come. Let her come, whoever it is. You say, Lord Jesus, I receive you as my Savior. Right now, I accept and receive gladly your gift of eternal life. I don't want to be lost. I don't want to burn in fire, as I've heard about. That's not for me. Maybe I don't understand all that how it all works and what it's all about. But that's not for me. If there's a heaven, and we know that there is, we know truly that there is heaven. That's where I want to be. So Lord Jesus, your blood cleanses me. Forgive me of all sin. Say that right now. Lord Jesus, your blood cleanses me. Forgive me of all sin. I receive you as my Lord and Savior right now. Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and Savior right now. From right now on in my life, I'm yours and you're mine. I receive you as my Lord and King. And forgive me from all, everything in my life that wasn't right. But right now, from today, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And thank you for the gift of eternal life. Heaven will be my home, never hell. And this will spread through me. Say that, Lord in Jesus' name, Father God, in Jesus' name, this will spread through me to other people. See, they think the devil thinks that he's, people are scared of the virus being spread. What about the power of God being spread through you? What about the gospel coming through you? What about the word of the Lord coming through you? What about salvation for mankind coming through you? And even you that just received the Lord right now. God's going to use you as a vessel to win others. But the first thing is you got to get it yourself. And I pray, my friends, for every person in your family, distant relatives, close relatives, and distant relatives, immediate families, and extended families in your bloodlines, that, that the touch of God will come in every person that you come in contact with and know will be born again and saved and receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior and have bliss and glory and eternity with God and never to be with the devil and his ugly friends. In Jesus' name, so be that. So be it and so be that. Father, I thank you that you're raising up soul winners, people to win souls. And remember what I was saying, the Lord spoke to me some moments ago. And I was going to deliver this to Europe, but I'm delivering it to you first. So your privilege, your the inner circle. And it's going to go out to other people. The greatest blessing you could have is the Holy Spirit coming to you. Because he has everything good. He has money. He has success. He has healing. 
He has salvation. He has deliverance. He has favor. He has plans. He has blueprints. He has architectural design. He has people. He has networks. He has events in his hand. He has open doors. Everything you want comes from him. That's why Jeremiah 17, 7 said, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord. But before that, if it was the seventh verse or on, whatever, wherever it is, cursed is the one that trusts only in man. So don't make man your, your source. Let God, you need to know God. You need to understand that he's doing some things. Remember the scripture that said, be still and know that I'm God? Yes, dear Linda. Soul winners, that's what we are. I like your arrow there. Oh, pointing to yourself. Yeah! Woo! Take a screenshot of that. Can I do it while I'm on live? It did it. <laughs> so, yeah, it screenshotted. I just hit the screenshot. Got it. Arrow pointing to my picture. Soul winner. That's me. Woo! Hallelujah. Jurgen Mayer. God bless you, my friend. Are you from Europe? Jurgen, you can write me and tell me where you're watching from. Seen your name. Seen Jan here on Facebook. Love you, man. Welcome into the family. We're kingdom people. Wow. Amen. So we're soul winners. Let that be the word of the Lord to you and to me. Love you much. That, thank you for being a partner. Also, you can partner with us. People are sowing the seed of $111 according to Deuteronomy 111. I'll make you a thousand times more. God wants to bless you in multiplicity and multiplication a thousand times more, even some are doing that monthly and sending it like that. You could do it on Cash App, on PayPal, on the website, on thomasmanton.com, paypal.me forward sign Thomas Manton. Cash App, our handle on Cash App is dollar sign DR for doctor, dollar sign DR Thomas Manton on Cash App. On the, and the website, of course, all the information is there. You can sew there on, uh, through the website on thomasmanton.com thomasmanton.com Dr. Yune I thought it was Una but it was so, but Apostle called you, you Une Une McFarland bless you dear glad you're here hit replay I'm about to jump off I've shared some very powerful things here so when this pops back up and it's on the timeline officially after a minute you can replay this and share this with other people. Everyone, please do hit the share button. I forgot to say that. If you see a share button right now, before we go, everybody that's on with me right now, hit the share button. Share and then see who you can share it with. Let this be shared. Put it out there. And even after we've uh, finished the broadcast live, you can still hit the share button. Put it on your wall. You can send it by messenger to other people. Let this word reverberate out to multitudes of people in Jesus' name. Thank you for being my partner in ministry. Thank you for sowing, tithing, offering, sowing, first fruiting, alms for the missions, for our African missions and world missions. I appreciate it so much. The more the better you can donate, you can sow into this work, into this anointing. And, and when I see you doing that, I'm going to be praying for you. The Lord spoke to me that everybody that connects in that way, I'm going to bless them. I'm going to bless them. Why not feel the anointing? I'm going to bless you, says the Lord. Watch. Supernaturally. Things you didn't expect. Didn't know what happened so quickly. It's going to be like that. Uh, the anointing. When, the, when you touch the anointing, that way the anointing touches you. And God's going to begin to propel you into some new things like you've never seen. Wow. Father, thank you for this in Jesus' name. We are successful people. Tom Mukisa, God bless you, Pastor. Welcome. Hit the replay on this after a minute. I've shared some powerful things. I'm just about to go off here uh, onto something else. The Lord is releasing his success and his goodwill for you to prosper and be above everything else and never beneath. And be blessed when you're in and blessed when you're out. Blessed when you're in right now because it seems like a lot of things have come to a standstill. So take this time to pray. And again, we have cursed this coronavirus. It is dying, and this thing is going to blow over. Listen to God's prophet here. It's going to blow over quicker than you think. 
It's not going to be an, an, an ongoing, endless or long-term pandemic. This thing is going to get short-circuited because God is taking it off the scene. And listen, if he, if he even, if people slip through the cracks and the devils did all this to do all this nonsense, it's, it's, it's alerting people to wake up and to really be the church. So take that on the positive note on that side of it and you rise up and be the church and awake, O Zion. So that you that have been asleep, sleeping and slumbering and too comfortable, get stirred up and begin to move forward in new things now. And I want to tell you, revival is really breaking loose in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Manton IV. Talk to you again real soon in the next broadcast. Love you much. Share this. And I look forward to hearing from you in Jesus' name. And I will be praying for you continuously as I do hear from you. In Jesus' name, amen.